Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to today's education day through Curtis Clay Training's Virtual Muscular System Treatment. I'm obviously not at the kiln or Curtis Clay Training. Um, I'm at home. And so um, I want to record this video to talk about this. A little bit different, a little bit different twist. But what I want to talk to you guys about is, one, I want to ask you guys if there's certain topics you want to learn about and so forth, let me know. Okay? I can continue to talk about those topics and so forth. All right? So, um, which would be great. But... I wanted to talk about um, something different today. So I'm actually gonna talk about a book. And I think this is a super great topic to talk about. And it relates to mental health or mental fortitude and resiliency and so forth. So I, um, a parent gave me this book, I trained their daughter, she plays volleyball. She's very tall, might be taller than me. But again, I'm not very tall, right? So hopefully honor and light are taller than me. And, can play sports well I guess with light maybe like a normal size right because I guess it's hard to find tall guys I don't know she's taller me it might be tough to find um, but anywho I'm just kidding um, I want to talk about a book so this parent gave me a book and uh, he said essentially you know read chapters three through five or three and five I, I can't remember what he said but of course I got it before COVID he gave it to me and so when the lockdown happened I was like well I'm just gonna read it right so I read the book and I was like this is legit it is a great book. A bunch of the athletes, adults, parents, I mean, everybody can benefit from this book, um, which I thought was great. And I'll talk about it. But then the reason why I want to talk about this book is because then I listened to it again on audiobook. I can't really read as much because Honor's sleep schedule is a little wild, um, as in there is no schedule. <laughs> so, um, which is great, right? You got to count it all joy. Um, but I was like, after I listened to the book, I got a lot more nuggets out of it. And I, I listen to like one or two books a week, um, depending on the length of the book when it comes to hours and so forth. Um, but this book is called It Takes What It Takes. It's by, Tre it's by Trevor Moad. And uh, he's essentially like the, like, so here's what he said, here's what they say about him. The sport world's most trusted strategic advisor, right? But if you, if you read the book, which I would highly encourage it, he's more of like a mental resiliency coach. Somebody that can help you, help advise you on how to help you get from point A to point B when it comes to your life goals, athletic goals, and whatever it may be. And um, I guess I want to talk to you about it. Um, three main points is what I'm going to talk about. There might be a fourth. Um, but the book says it, it takes what it takes, how to think neutrally and gain control of your life. Um, the gain control of your life, like I get what he's saying with that, but if I was going to walk into say Barnes and Noble or rest in peace borders, um, if I was like gain control of my life, like I feel like I'm going to control my life, but what's this think neutrally thing? So I'm going to kind of hone in on this. Um, that's kind of the main topic of the book is thinking neutral. So I'll give you a fact first. This is point number one. Okay. So we talked about essentially that we talk to ourselves internally all day and I think the stat was that he referenced in the book, it was about 150,000 words that we say to ourselves every day. Now, one thing he said, and I've looked this up through research and stuff, is that he said that in the book that negative self-talk impacts us seven times more than positive self-talk. And I'd agree. I mean, us as humans, we tend to hold on to the mistakes we've made. Well, you know, we don't always look at, oh, that was so great, or look what I did, and blah, blah, We look at the mistakes we made. We tend to hold on to those things. And that could happen from, you know, stressful situations, America adapting and growing, and, you know, us going from colonies and then growing and migrating west and so forth. I don't know why we think about negative things more so. I tend to feel like I'm a glass, glass half full type of person. Um, but, you know, maybe not with some people. Who knows, right? So um, I thought that was kind of interesting that he, you know, said that it, the stat was that seven times more negative uh, self-talk impacts us. And I tend to talk to myself a lot. Um, I think inside my head a lot. And if you guys know me and see me operate at the gym, like there's times when I get really quiet during a session, I'm looking at the person and observing and I'm like, okay, let's go do this, right? I'm thinking all the time. And I think I, I probably say a million words in my head per day, but um, I thought that was pretty powerful. And I think that giving ourselves some grace to learn from situations is crucial, right? So let's try to increase how positive and graceful we are to ourselves because we're all our hardest critic, right? So that's number one thing I pulled from it. Number two, he talked about when you have a goal in mind, 
getting from point A to point B, right? Point A to point B. We think we've got a lot of choices that we can make to go from point A to point B, um, but he talks about how we really don't. If your true passion or goal is to get to that end goal, he was talking about you don't really have any choices. I was like, man, that's crazy, dude. And then I reflected back upon opening the gym or starting my own business, Curtis Clay Training. Right? I came home one day and Jackie and I, you know, being married, we talked about our first goal was to get a house. And um, we didn't, I've never lived in a house. Um, I have my godparents' house, but like, Jackie's never lived in a house, owned a house, neither have I, and that's something that we want to pass on to our kids. Um, and I don't want that to be our main focus, right? Like, it's important to have a home, don't get me wrong. And we're renting a home, and it's great, we got a little yard, and like, I remember we moved in, I cried. I was like, Jackie, we were, we're giving our kids a house, and even though we're renting it, it's a house. Um, and I remember crying, because it was a big deal. Um, and for her, too, it was kind of a cool moment. But I digress as I reflect back upon that. But when I was open Curtis Clay training, there was a lot of sacrifices we made. I came home, we were going to do a house. She said, no, you know, Curtis, I really think we need to do a gym first. You need a gym, right? I'm like, are you sure? And she's like, yes. So we set this goal of saving this amount of money and doing certain things because we didn't want to take out any loans. We didn't want to take any loans, none of that stuff, right? Because I want to be able to provide the service that I wanted to, do my scheduling and so forth. And um, I look back on it and we didn't really go on lavish vacations. We, we really enjoyed our time together. We enjoyed going on trips. We would go visit family in California. We didn't go on any lavish trips. And I look back at it. There was choices we consciously made to help us get from point A to the business of opening the gym as best or as quickly and efficiently as possible. So I realized, man, that was, that was something that I went through. When you have a goal, we actually have a limited amount of choices we make if we want to get from here to here. He used the reference of he wanted to lose weight, so he stopped drinking sugary drinks. He stopped eating a bunch of carbs all the time that were um, fast, uh, excuse me, low or high glycemic index, um, all that kind of stuff, right? So I was like, that's super cool. And I thought it was pretty fascinating. So if you guys have a goal, getting in shape, losing weight, preventing an injury, getting rid of an injury, getting back from recovery, whatever it is, your goal is narrowed down in the choices you make, even though you can make choices, if that goal is as important to you as possible, you actually have a limited amount of choices to get you to your goal. That was super fascinating to me. Point number three, what you put in front of yourself and absorb will impact how you operate externally and impact you mentally. So if I listen to rap music, right? Rap music where they're cussing and talking badly about women or doing things they shouldn't do with Um, substances or whatever it is, or if I'm watching TV that talks about those things, it's going to impact me and how I feel, how I communicate, how I talk and so forth, right? Am I going to be more angry listening to rap music that talks about those things? Am I going to, you know, if I listen to folk music, am I going to be happy-go-lucky? You know, that's an extreme example, but the things that essentially we absorb into or take in externally are going to impact us. I mean, we know that, you know, you are what you eat. People say that all the time. But your mental health, mental strength, mental fortitude, resiliency is impacted by the things that you allow these things to absorb, right? And what's really cool, I can talk about this by nerding out, but your eyes are an immediate link to your brain. I mean, they're so close to each other, but then also the nerve pathways, it's so immediate and close. And so that really hit me too in this book. And now, don't get me wrong, there are a lot of other things that go on in this book, but I thought it was really cool how he talked about that. The things that we take in through these impact us internally, which impacts us in how we operate externally in the world that we live in. So I would highly recommend this book, audio book, read it. Um, If you like to highlight and underline, get a book. If you like to listen and type notes on your phone, do the audio book. But it's a great book on encouraging yourself to reach your passions or your goals and get there. But then along that journey, giving yourself some grace and learning how to think neutrally and not beat ourselves up all the time. So I just wanted to share that book with you. It really encouraged me, and I rarely do that. Um, but this book really hit. I thought it was a, it was a good hit. So um, go check it out. Hopefully you guys are doing well, and I will hopefully see you guys soon. All right, guys. <laughs>